Hey, said I'm one, come test me. Pick two rap with a sling mic, look off and met like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard that they talking that big talk, lip off, which god, listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely, big man, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form, don't stress me. Hey, I'm an issue like child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his ring, need clothes and he dress me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect, it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand with my sword at the gate. Holiness to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespect in the stone of your face. Look, you must be a fool to can Right? What was our identity before they colonized us? What, what did our ancestors identify as? Was it black, a color in a crayon box? Right? Who <laughs> Yeah. Is that an identity? No. Of course not. So what is our identity? I know you're not just walking around. Oh, I'm a color. I just consider all of us humans. Under God. Under God, right? Did yes, God create the same type of humans? In his image. Everybody was made in his image? Yes, sir. What, what image is that? Human. But is, aren't there different types of human beings? Yeah, I mean, we all breathe the same air, right? We all breathe the same blood. So when God made animals, right? Did he make one type of animal? We communicate with animals to know the different types. We can visualize, you know, the birds, the dogs, the cats. We can tell that they're different types. But we can't communicate with them to know what they are or who they are, you know? Well, the, the point that I'm making is not based on communication. It's based on identity. Because you know uh, there's dogs, but there's different species of dogs. Yes, there's there's goats. There's different types of goats. Yes, so just like how the Most High God created differences in, in all his creation, right? And every animal doesn't have the same purpose. Yes, so he, just as he made different animals of the same, uh, same animal with different species of that animal, he created different types of human beings. That's why we all look different. That's why we have different cultures, right? He didn't Correct. create all people to be the same. He divided the nations. Yes, sir. Give me that in um, Deuteronomy chapter 32, yeah, verse they, 7. Uh, they uh, wanted to worship something different than uh, Ezekiel, so he divided the nation. Well, that's actually, I'm going to put this in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 7. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse number 7, right? Remember the days of old. So it says, remember the days of old, right? Consider the years of many generations. So you want to consider the years of many generations. You want to know who your forefathers are, right? right? And, and, and who, who, what they identified as during in those times. Because God never called anybody African American. He never called anybody uh, Negro or Caucasian no, no, or no, Chinese. No, absolutely not. We had, they, he gave us a, our, our identities, man. Every yes, nation under heaven has an identity that God gave to us. What would your identity be? I just look at myself as a man of God. I, I get where you're coming from, I do. But I just, I don't really identify myself. As. No, what, what did God call you? Or your people? Son, man, I'm just the son of God. No, I mean, like, as far as their nation, because there's different nations in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Most of God created different nations. Oh, no, Eighteen nations, to be exact. Yeah, chief nations. And then from those nations came sub nations. There is no end of all these people. Read. Even of all 
yeah. that have been before them. Because even of what? Even of all that have been before them. Even of all that had been before us. All these nations existed before us. The Lord is saying there is no end of these people. Meaning everybody that exists today are their descendants, right? So every people, whether you want to call yourself Caucasian or Chinese or Hispanic, hey man, you go back to one of these nations that God gave an identity. All these different labels and, and words that we identify as today was placed on our people because of what? Because of captivity, slavery, discontinuity. Right, give me that, give me your uh, Louis Vuitton, give me Jeremiah 14. Yes. And it's like also very close to that. No doubt. Are you on the Yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, King. Right? Jeremiah 14, verse 2, right? Judah mourneth for uh, 17 and 4. So, uh, Jeremiah 17 verse 4. Thou, and thou even thyself, even thyself, right? And thou even thyself, thou. Even, what's your name, King? Terrell. Terrell? Come on. And the Lord is saying, Thou even thyself, Terrell, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Shall what? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. Which what? That I gave thee. Which I what? That I gave you. Hey, even you are going to discontinue from the heritage that the Most High God gave you. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. And I will what? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. What is slavery? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. Right? In the land which thou knowest not. What is America? In the land which thou knowest not. Because we didn't know these lands, man. We were brought here, man, in a foreign land, right, by a foreign nation, man. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Why do these things happen? It's not by coincidence, right? The Most High God is in control of all things, King, whether it's good or evil. Everything happened for a reason. We didn't just go into slavery because, you know, so-called white man is just superior to us. Hey, man, is a so-called white man superior to us, man? I said the Bible who was last would be first. So even though we was last through slavery through all of this. No, in, in the eyes of the Most High God, right? The children of Israel, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, King. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Right? Because we're not all equal, man. Right? The Most High God created the Israelites above all people, man. Right? right? Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. Lord. Where am I going? Going back in time. 7 and verse 6. Going back. For thou art an holy people. Right? Unto the Lord thy God. For thou art an holy people. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Brother chime in. Right? Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The what? The Lord, Lord thy God has chosen thee. Hey, the Most High God has chosen us, the Israelites, to be a special people. To be niggas. To, to be, be a special people. people. To be a special people, King. Okay? You, you believe that you're special? Right? But do you know that you're special? Yeah? Unto himself. Right. The Most High God made us special. Say we were equal. You say we were equal. Yeah, everybody's equal. I I don't know, man. We're just the son of God. You, you believe in the Bible, right? Uh, listen to what God says. I'm gonna read it again. And Jesus said that we are the son of man, brother. So like, I get who is we? People, his kids, whoever came. From. So so everybody's God's sons and sons if they of God. They believe and want to be. I can't stop them saying that. Black person, black person. 
different. If we believe in the same Jesus and we have the same purity, so and, and let, let's the same say, faith, let's say what you're saying. I'm gonna hold his hand. And I'm gonna hold your hand, bro. We can both say let's say what you're saying. Okay, so but that's problematic. This is the is the Lord speaking to all people. He made the Bible for all people. No, it was it? He made the Bible for all people. Who was given the Bible? He, his people. Who is his people? The twelve tribes. Right? Who is the twelve tribes? You gotta listen. Hey, no, this ain't the twelve tribes. These, That's the eighteen tribes. The twelve the tribes. And the truth is going to make us free, brother. All right. Right? So I know it, it, it goes, what I'm saying is probably contrary to what your understanding is. But that's because you've been taught the wrong things, brother. Right? In the wrong way, brother. Right? So we are here to teach our people the truth according to the Bible. Because there's a lot of doctrines that have been perpetuated throughout the earth. God loves everybody. That's not in the Bible. Right? There's a, there's a different how, how, understanding. How, how is that not in the Bible? I'm gonna show you. Give me. Um, you say God or the Most High God created that created us all has a chosen people, which are the Israelites. These are His people. Not all people are God's people. Right. Only the children of Israel are God's people. Nowhere in the Scripture does it say that any other nation are His people but the children of Israel. Give me. I'm gonna show you. Give me Exodus chapter. 3 and verse 10, give me Exodus chapter 10 and verse um, 1 and 2. No, 5 and 1. Um, and then I'm going to read down to verse 6. Exodus 5 and 1. Come. Yeah, you step can step up some more, King. This is the book of Exodus chapter 3 and verse 10. Right? Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh. Right, because the children of Israel, what were they doing in Egypt? Are you familiar with that story? The children of Israel. Okay. What were they doing in Egypt? I mean, God. You're familiar with Moses, right? Yeah. And what did they Moses just, they were just living reckless. They were living reckless? Yeah. Give me Exodus chapter 1. Before Moses came to save his people. They, they weren't just living reckless. Give me jump to verse um, 7. It's the book of Exodus chapter 1 and verse 7, right? And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. Right? And multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. Right? So we lived in Egypt. If you are familiar with the story, Jacob and his 12 sons and their house walked into Egypt. Right? And the land was filled with them. Right? We multiplied and we became exceedingly mighty. Right? And there arose up a new king over Egypt. Right? There's a new king over Egypt. Which knew not Joseph. Which what? Which knew not Joseph. Which knew not Joseph. Yo. Right? And he 
said unto his people. And he said unto what? His people. Right, so the Egyptian king said unto his people, right? Behold, the people, the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Right, read. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Right, meaning let us deal crafty with them. Lest they multiply, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when they falleth out of any war, right, they join also unto our enemies. So they were scared that if all hell was war was supposed to come to Egypt, that the Israelites would join with their enemies and overthrow them. Let's see what they did and fight against us, right, and so get them up out of the land. Let's see if they got them up out of the land. Read. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. What did they do? They set over them taskmasters. What is a taskmaster? They set over them taskmasters, right? To afflict them. To do what? To, to afflict, afflict them. To afflict them. Read. With their burdens. What, what does that sound like? Slavery. So they were slaves in Egypt, right? The Lord, uh, the Lord rose up Moses right and sent him there to free his people go back to three and ten he didn't say save all people right read the book of exodus chapter three and verse ten right come now therefore and i will send thee unto pharaoh he's gonna send moses to pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people not, not all people my people who the children of Israel. The who? The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Not the Egyptians. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. He says, bring for my people the children of Israel. Let's get another account. Bring that uh, five and one. So, so I'm familiar with the story. So, so you're saying Moses didn't, uh, he just saved the, the, the Israelites. That's right. That's it. That's it. it nowhere, didn't the Lord destroy the Egyptians? With ten plagues, man. But they destroyed themselves by believing in idols. By what do you mean they destroyed themselves? I mean, because God is a jealous God, so He saved. Well, Moses went and saved the people. His what people. people did He save? The Israelites. So, so didn't the God destroy they babies? Why first saying born? they destroyed themselves is because they what they believed in. They didn't believe in God. They believed in idols. The, the, the pharaohs. They believed. They worshipped themselves. The pharaoh had a, a sorcerers with them. That was so what about the innocent babies that got killed? Were they... Were they they was descendants. How you're describing the descendants. So God kills innocent babies? God don't kill innocent babies. He just you killed sure? the descendants of who these people were. He killed their tribe. Their, if, if, if I'm, if I'm a, a man of idols and worship idols, and then I'm birthing the son that's going to worship the same thing. He just was wiping out that... Give me second Ezra 16 54. You know what I'm saying? What we're trying to say, he just was wiping Give me out Isaiah that, 40 that, uh, and verse 7. Let's see, let's see what you're saying is true. Give me Joel 2 27. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse yeah, 54. Did, did. I'm gonna show you, King. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, right? Of him come we all. So we all came from Adam, right? Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the what? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who's chosen? So we all came from Adam and the people also whom God has chosen. Right. Who are the chosen? People that came. So give me Isaiah. It's right. not contradicting, but it sounds contradicting. Right? No, it's not contradicting, brother. It just takes a little because understanding. Because if we all came from Adam and Eve, for an example. It says, it says we all came from Adam. Read that again. I'm gonna, did, I'm gonna, right? I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you. Let's read it slow. Verse second hundred six and fifty four. Right. And after these, Adam also. Right. Thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam was made ruler of the land. Of him. Of him came everybody, every nation on the earth, right? And and the people, right? Also, thou has chosen, including the people who God has chosen. So, who are the people that God has chosen out of all those nations that came from Adam? Okay, let me ask you this. So, no, you got to answer that, King. It's hard to answer it because God chose 
certain people through all of the times in the Bible. Where, when scripture says God chose well, the Moabites chose, chose, or the Ammonites or the chose, Egyptians. He chose Moses. Moses couldn't even speak correctly. No, but what was Moses' ethnicity? What was his biblical identity? I'm not too sure. He's an Israelite. Give me that in Exodus yeah, chapter two. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 1. But I'm saying he chose different people from different tasks. But all, all the men that were chosen by God came from the 12 tribes. Not, not the Moabites, man. Let's get this one again. The Lord never chose a Moabite, a damn Chinese man, to bring out the word, man. I right. just believe that 1 through 18 are all the judges from God. Hey, King, believe kills and believe cures, man. Yeah, I believe you can't be judged at the same time. Bring that up. Finish the rest of it. Yeah, three and one. God, this is the book of Exodus, in three and verse one. Right? Right. Now Moses kept the flock. Go ahead, go back to chapter two and one. That's right. Exodus, chapter two, verse one. Right. right. And there went a man of the house of Levi. Of the what? Of the house of Levi. There was a man of the house of Levi. Levi is one of the sons of Jacob. So he's a child. He's a child of Israel. He's one of the Israelites. Moses was chosen by God because he's an Israelite. Only the Israelites are chosen. Somebody give me Isaiah. 40. I'm gonna show you. And then you can go back to Second Ezra 6 and 54. I'm just curious. I know this about to show. So you're saying only the, the, the chosen tribe? Only or only people that are chosen by the Most High God are the Israelites. Nowhere in the scripture did God choose any other nation to be his people. I'm going to show you. 44. So Isaiah, chapter 40, 44, and verse number 1. Right? Yet now hear, O Jacob. Hear, O Jacob. My servant. Jacob is the servant. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Right? And Israel, whom I have chosen. And who? And Israel, who I have chosen. And Israel, whom I have chosen. Right. The Lord never chose any other nation, man. Right? To be his chosen people. Those are the chosen people. Right? That's why I go, go back to 2nd Ezra 6 and read that again. Chosen to do what task? To be his special people. Like we brought out in, in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. To be his special people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He created them to be rulers of the planet Earth. Right. He right. didn't create all people to rule co eternally and coexist equally. Right. right? That would contradict the scriptures. Right? Bring that. Yeah. Second address in 6, verse 54. Give me Joel 2 and 27. And after these, Adam also. It's just like Adam. And after these, Adam also. Thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, right? Of him come we all. Of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom God has chosen. And we just showed you who the chosen were, the twelve tribes. Read. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Right? Because th because thou madest the world for our sake. The world was made for the chosen sake. Right? Read. As for the other people, as for all these other people, that's not the chosen, which also come of Adam, which also come of Adam, right? Thou hast said, right? That they are nothing. That they are what? That, that they, they are, are nothing. nothing. No, they chosen. That, that they, they are, are nothing. nothing. Hey, brother, that they are nothing. What is that? That's the, that's the Bible, man. That's uh, Second Ezra chapter six and verse fifty-four. So. So y'all based off of... Uh, we, we teach the Bible. Okay? No, 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 I see the Bible, but what if y'all read from Matthew? From we read the whole Bible. Peter, John, Jesus. We read the, we, we, we teach from the whole volume of the book. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus taught the same thing. Right. But he didn't teach, he, give, me, give me Matthew 15, 24, Bible Shop. I'm going to show you. Christ never came and died for all people. Right. right. He never said that. Man. Right. So I can I'm just going to say that um, when, when so-called Jesus was walking the earth, there was no such thing as the New Testament. So, he was, so everything that him and the, and the prophets that we were reading out of was, was the, the Old, Old Testament. Testament. He didn't, Christ didn't teach. The New Testament came after. It was written after. 
So he taught from the Old Testament. You can read that in. Yeah, he, uh, he made a lot of reference. Luke to chapter what four. His said. Well, he taught from the Old. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He taught from the Book of Isaiah when you read Luke chapter four and eighteen. He didn't teach. Hey, you think Christ was reading the book of, of Matthew, man, during his time? No, no, no. Hell no. He was, he was, he was making it. Joel, what do you have? Joel 27. 27. Bring that out. Watch this. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Yeah. Right? And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am in the midst of who? I, I am, am in the midst, midst of Israel. Israel. I am in the midst of Israel, the Israelites. Right. And that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. Your God, right, and none else, and what, and none else, no, everybody, and, and none, none else, else. And, and none else, brother. That's right. Jesus was working miracles for everybody. Bring that up, Matthew 15 24. Let's see if the Lord came for everybody, man. He was working miracles. You, you believe in Jesus, right? If Jesus says he was only sent for the Israelites, would you believe that? Well, come on, brother. <laughs> I thought you, you just believe said in you Jesus. believe in Jesus, brother. This is Jesus' just, words. Just this this is read, Jesus' I, words, brother. What I read and what I'm saying is... Hey, read that. Uh, I'm going to listen to the brother first. Yeah, I can't separate. I see what you're saying. No, it's not what I'm saying. I'm what, showing you the verses. How are y'all doing the verses? But he said how I'm doing the brother. What I'm saying did, I, did I write that, it's brother? For all of us, brother. If, if a man, white, black, Chinese, Asian, wants to accept him as his Lord and Savior, I support him. He's a brother of mine. Hey, whether uh, a so-called Chinese man or the so-called white man want to accept the Most High God, I, I, they can accept him, but that doesn't mean that the Most High God if, loves if them. I'm chosen, right. If I'm even more chosen and more loving, I want to embrace that for people who are not chosen or not loving. Hey, hey, guess same, what? Uh, They're gonna, we're going to embrace them as our servants. Right. We'll be judged how we judge, brother. I judge no man for nothing. Hey, man, well, we can judge, man. Give right. me John 7 and 24. I judge no man okay. for nothing. It's same, which, the ruler we judge is the same man. No, but watch this. So we can't judge? I don't. No, but can we? I don't. I right, watch this. Bring that up. My John 7, 24. Sin, cast the first stone, hey, bro, what is, we, we gonna deal with that. Read. Matthew 15, 24. This is Christ speaking. Start at verse 22. Verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan. A woman of Canaan, a Canaanite woman, right? A Canaanite is a son of um, Ham. Where is Canaan? He's a son of Ham. Right, right. there. Where? Yeah, it looks open. Yeah. Right, Canaan. South Africans, right? Read. Women of Canaan came out of the same coast. I have my woman. Read. And cried unto him. And cried unto the Lord, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, right? This is Christ, right? My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. My daughter is sick. Read. But he answered her not a word. He didn't say nothing when she said that. He kind of ignored her. Right? What's that? In Matthew 15. When the lady was talking to Jesus about her, his, her daughter. Yeah, right, watch this. Verse 23. He answered her not a word. He didn't answer her. He kind of ignored her. Right? And his disciples. And his what? And his disciples. His disciples. These are Jesus' disciples. Right? He, he, he got to keep no, I know. I'm just gonna make a point. If these are, if these are Jesus' disciples and Jesus is the just man and righteous, wouldn't his disciples be the same way? No, because they're not Jesus. But didn't he have disciples? So Peter wasn't a righteous man. Absolutely. This is Peter. Right? Read. His disciples came and besought him. His disciples came and, and, and said to him, saying. Send her away. Do what? Send her away. Now, why would the disciples say send her away? Because they were bothering Jesus. Who was bothering Jesus? They all wanted miracles. It's like the rich man is in the city. Everybody wanted to get healed. Okay, so being a just man that the Lord is, he would help this woman, right? Didn't he, didn't he say he came for the poor and the sick to bind up the brokenhearted? Right? So, but That's the gospel, man. Absolutely. You're right? right? Bring that up. But. But he answered, heard not a word. Right? And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. Do what? Send, Send her, her away. away. Send her away. Right? For she crieth after us. He begging us. Right? Read. But he answered and said, What did the Lord say? 
I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did he say? I, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Jesus say? I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Do you agree with the text, brother? What I've read is she cried out. These are red and letters, he, man. And he ignored her. You, you know what red letter means. And, and, and then he answered. Do you know what red letters mean? That's Jesus' word, brother. I just read So who did different. Jesus say he was sent for? No, no. no. The, the, the Bible, brother. Like King James. King James, brother. brother. Right? I read some different, brother. Hey, hey brother. Lying to you. Hey, we know? read out of the same book, brother. Can I bring out a precept? Right? What you got, I'm, King? I'm, 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 uh, okay. Okay. Give me, uh, I'm going to hold that real fast. Finish that, King. Yeah, that, hey, man. Brother's, that brother got to start bringing their swords, man. Because when we read from the phone, man, it kind of makes us look not credible, man. <laughs> Holy Bible, man. Bring that up. Matthew 15. Any, you can bring out any version you want. Go on your phone, type in Bible Hub, and look for Matthew 15, 24. That's the same thing, brother. Right. right, bring that out again. Red, what does red letter mean? Jesus is talking. Right, so read that again, King. Verse 24. And then you can get uh, Matthew 5. Acts 13, 33. I am not sent. I am not sent. Right? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He says, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? Read on. Let's see. Then came she and worshiped him, right? saying, Lord, help me. Right? She's begging now, right? But he answered and said, It is not me. It is not good. Good to take the children's bread. To take the children of Israel's bread and cast it to dogs. And cast it to what? And, and cast, cast it to dogs. dogs. What did the Lord call this woman? And cast it to dogs. He called this woman a dog, man. That's the Lord, brother. Yeah, right. She said true. Don't the dogs eat from the ground? Did the Lord call her a dog, brother? Yes, he did. Are the children, boy, is your child. You what? got kids, right? She justified what the Lord said. No, she, what do you mean she justified? She said, doesn't the, the dog eat crumbs from the ground? Doesn't from, from the masters? Means? Finish yeah. that. You know finish that means? But, but, but no, we're yeah, finishing. Just yeah, read it. Finish yeah, it. she said that, but why did he end up helping her if he was, if he, if he looked Because of her faith. <laughs> she knew that she was a damn dog, man. That's what I'm but saying. But are, are, are dogs equal to the children? Because of her faith. Brother, are dogs equal to the children? So, if you, you got kids? You got a dog, right? So are you gonna feed the damn dogs what your daughter is supposed to get? It says, he says it's not me to take the children's bread, the children's blessing, and cast it to the dogs, right? And guess what, the Lord said, she said, oh, truth, Lord, I am a dog, truth. But that even the dogs eat from the master's table. So when your daughter finished eating, she tossed it to the dogs, right? What she feels like. That's how the children of Israel are in the sight of the Lord. Right. They get what the Lord, the blessings, and they give it to the nation how they feel like. Well, I'm saying, why, how, how can she justify why did he end up helping her anyway? Because he, he was, was not sent but unto the lost sheep. He, didn't, he wasn't sent for her, man. Right. He, he was sent for his people. And he, he helped her because, the, guess what? The Lord showed mercy unto whom he wants to show mercy. Right. He can, and just as us, man, we can show mercy to our heathen slaves, and uh, which are the dogs, these other nations. I can have mercy on a heathen. I can choose not to uh, punish him for doing something, or I can I can punish him if I want. To. Right. That's my property. Right. The same way how when we was in slavery, then wasn't the so-called white man weren't we his property? What do you think is gonna happen? To, to those people that had our people in slavery. You think God just forgot about them? So, so there is judgment coming for the people that had us in captivity, right? That's right. What is their judgment? No, what is their judgment? They got to count for And what, how, what is that judgment look like? What does it look like? Give me, give me Revelation 13 and 10. No, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what the judgment is for slavery. That's not what he said, brother. Look at look at it. That's what your slave master said. It's in the and, and Peter it said he that and Peter, read Peter, bro. Watch this. In the beginning verses it says that. Came, you Peter, listening? This is what it was This is the judgment for slavery. Bring that up. 
He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. What is gator bait? He that leadeth into captivity. What is being hung from trees? He that leadeth into captivity. What is being birthed alive? He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Slavery, right? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Brother, that's the last book in the Bible, brother. Right. That's when the Lord comes back. He says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So how are we all equal when these people got to get judged? Final judgment for the earth. Not for the, for, for those who led us, the children of Israel, in captivity. Right. right. The children of Israel never had anybody in captivity. Right. They've been through captivity after captivity under all these nations with this world. Under all these nations, they had us in captivity. That's why they're nothing before the Most High. Right. Give me Zechariah chapter 14 and 1. Let's see if it's some people that's going to be annihilated. Zechariah 14 and 1. Book of Zechariah 14 and verse number 1. Right. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. The day of the Lord cometh, right? And thy spoil shall be divided. And the spoil is meaning all these, the possessions of these nations, right? Shall be divided in the midst of thee. Right? In the midst of us, the Israelites. Right? Read. For I will gather all nations. Say I will gather some of them. I will, I will gather, gather all, all nations. nations. I will gather all nations, not some, brother, all of them. Right? Read. Against Jerusalem. Against who? Against, Against Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Hey, the word Jerusalem is synonymous for the Israelites. I will Jerusalem. gather them against Jerusalem. Right? To battle. To what? To, to battle. battle. Hey, all these nations are going to come against us, King. Not some of them, not just a few of out of them. All of them. Right? Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Are you referring to Ah, yes. When they come up, come up against us in, in the land of Jerusalem. Right? The, the, the battle versus good versus evil. The battle of the nations against Jerusalem, which is the Israelites. Bring that up. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Watch this. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Now nah, he's going to have mercy on all people. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. He will have mercy on Jacob, 12 tribes, right? And will yet choose Israel. Now nah, choose all people. And, and will yet, yet choose Israel. Israel. Choose the Moabites. And, and will yet, yet choose Israel. Israel. Choose the white man. And, and will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose Israel, man. Read. And set them in their own land. Because we're not in our homeland, brother. We've been taken from our homeland, and now we got imposters in our land claiming to be us. Right. right. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the, and the what? And the strangers shall be joined with them. All these other nations are strangers shall be joined with the Israelites. And they shall cleave to them so like, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave unto us. They're going to be coming up on us like, we're with the Lord. You know, kind of grabbing on Terrell, man. Right? Read. And the people shall take them. What we going to do? And, and the, the people, people shall, shall take them. them. We gonna, nah, they gonna, we going to ask them nicely. And, and the, the people, people shall, shall take them. them. We going to take them and bring them to their place. And bring them to our land, New Jerusalem, right? And the house of Israel and the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall what? Shall possess them. Shall possess them, brother. Right? Right? Read. In the land of the Lord. We going we gon' possess them in the land of God, man. Right. For what? For servants and handmaids. For what? For, for servants, servants and, and handmaids. God, there's not going to be slaves. For, for servants, servants and handmaids. We're going to possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captive. We're going to take them captive. Whose captives they were. Whose captives we were. We were their captives. In Egypt, in Assyria, in uh, Babylon, right? In Persia, in Greece, and Rome. Right. All these other nations had us in captivity, man. Right? Give me 1 Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 12. Bring that up. I said 1 and verse 12. Uh, 2. 2. 2 and verse. Yeah, start from verse 12. The book. Start from verse 9. 
the book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 2, and verse number 9. Yeah. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Right, they came, the Greeks came and destroyed Jerusalem. And they took all our precious stones and vessels and gold, everything, man. Right? Read. Her infants are slain in the streets. What did they do to our babies? Her our infants are slain in the streets. Right? Read. Her young men with the sword. Our young men with the sword. They will kill your son, brother. Or your daughter, man. Right? Read. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. Of the who? Of, of the, the enemy. enemy. Not your friend. Of, of the, the enemy. enemy. Brother, would your friends put you in slavery, brother? You laughing at that. No, don't, hey, yeah, no, brother, the answer is no, brother, right? Read. Verse 10. What nation has not had a part in her kingdom? Read it again. What, what nation, nation has not had a part in her kingdom? What nation had not had a part in our kingdom, man? The answer is all of them, man. Right. All of them came in and took spoils, man. Right. That's why we're not in our homeland right now, and they're speaking it with themselves. Chiefly the so-called white man, right? Claiming to be the, the Jewish man, God's people, man. You really think that they, those pale-faced devils are God's people, man? Bombing children, man? Every name must bow, man. Every tongue must confess. To the Israelites! Right! Right? right? You ain't put no name, no, 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 no title on there. Wow. Give me a uh, Revelation 2.26, man. Finish that. Yeah, finish uh, what nation has not had a part in Yeah, every kingdom. knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is our Lord. Right. Is the God of Israel. Right. Not the God of all people. Right? Read it. Finish it. What nation has not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Right. All her ornaments are taken away. Right. Of a free woman. She is become a bat, a bond slave. Right. As a free woman, Jer Jerusalem is synonymous to a woman, right? And it says she has become a bond slave. We become slaves. Right. Right. And the future judgment for all those that had us in captivity is what? Is captivity. Right. So when Christ comes back, we're gonna be ruling over them, right? Bring that up. Revelation two and twenty six. And he that overcometh. And he that overcometh. And keepeth my works unto the end, right? To him will I give power over the nation. To him will I what? To, to him, him will I give power over the nation. To him will I give power over the nations, brother. We're not gonna be all living and just holding hands and singing kumbaya, brother. He that overcometh, talking about the Israelites that overcome, he's gonna give them power over the nations. What what else gonna happen? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. What's coming to that white woman? To him to will him I give, give power, power over the nation. nation. Hey, to him will I give power over these devils, man. Right. Right? right? Read. And she and he shall rule over them. And what's going to happen? And he shall rule over them. What's going to happen to the so-called white man, woman, and child? And he shall rule over them. We going to rule over them. That's right. With a rod of iron. With a what? With, with a, a rod, rod of iron. iron. And what we going to do with that rod of iron? As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Wait, what? what did, the, did he say that? As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Nah, bro, that ain't in the Bible. As as a vessel, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Hey, man, that's plain, brother. You can't interpret that no other way, man. Right. I like to see them try, man. right? So the, the 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 message is for you, King, right. that you're an Israelite, God's chosen people. The world was created for you. Right? And all the Israelites, man. Uh, right. And and because we disobeyed the most high God, now we're serving them. Right? And we've been what? Slave for generations. Right? But Christ came and died for us so that we may have repentance. Give me um Acts 5 30. Right, give me God. Give me um uh, Acts 13 and 33. Bring that up. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring Give me uh, Matthew 1 uh, 26. 21. Classic. Bring this up. Come on, bring that up. Okay. This is Acts 2, 
and 21. Right. And it should come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Pause. It says whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Is that talking about everybody? Whosoever. Yeah. Whosoever. You think that's what it means? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see if that whosoever pertains to all people. Again from the top. And it should come to pass. It shall come to pass. It's gonna happen. That hey, y'all come hear the word, man. We out here for y'all, sister. Hey, brother, come on, come over here, King. Right? Ye men of Israel. So I need that again. Ye men, men of Israel, right? Hear these words. Not nah, all people hear these words. Ye, Ye men, men of Israel, Israel hear these words. Who's the whosoever? Exactly, uh, brother. Uh, uh, so you gotta <laughs> understand the context of the verses. You can't just read something no. and just apply it to everybody. Right. It, it, you have to read who who's talking, who is he talking to, who's the audience. I love that neighbor. Hey, who's our neighbor, brother? <laughs> hey, give me give me Leviticus 19:17, man. Hey, brother, we gotta cast out these doctrines in your mind. These strongholds. Right. 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 Read that. Give me Acts 13 and, and 33. Today, today, today anybody's your neighbor. Leviticus yeah. 19 and 16. Hey, man, every, anybody's not your neighbor, man. Right. Your neighbor didn't put you in the slavery, man. Right. Your enemies did that. Right. 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 Bring that up. Leviticus 19, 16. Right. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tailbird. Right. Among thy people. Among all people. Among, Among thy, thy people. people. Among thy people. Our people, right? Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Neither neighbor, right? You can't stand against the blood of your neighbor, right? Read. I am the Lord, right? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, right? And not suffer sin upon him. Right, so your neighbor is your brother, man, your kinsman. Right. That's who he's talking about. That's your neighbor, the children of thy people. So how you feel about that information, King? I love y'all, man. <laughs> hey, we love you too. Hey, brother, this is love, brother. I don't want to suffer and hate, brother. Hey, God hates. Hey, hey, God hates, brother. I, I'm just, I don't got it in my heart. I don't. Hey, I, hey, I guess what? Like, in that day, brother, the I Lord's like gonna I'm put gonna it in judged. your heart, brother. I'm gonna right. be judged Our job is to so tell you right. that you're an Israelite, right? I, right. I Whether you want to receive it or not, King. I can be it. I right? can be it, but I'm gonna love all, brother. Hey, hey, guess what? The Lord doesn't love Paul, man. Right, you right. want to be a man after God's own heart, man. Right. If God hates, brother, you got to hate too, man. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 8, man. Hey, brother, you can hate, man. Right. Right? I don't want to. You're in love with the Lord hates. Hey, man, yeah, you, you got to hate he what the Lord sin, Don't you hate what the Lord hates? He hates don't you hate what the Lord sin. hates? He, doesn't he hate people? He Does God hate people? Does he hate people? Give me Sirach chapter 12 and verse uh, 10. Sin unrighteous. I'm going to show you. Bring that up. Give me Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. Bring that up. Yeah, you can hold that. Give me sin. No, I'm going to show you. He hates people too, man. Right. Okay, for sure. So the, the idol worship. No, no he, he, you saying he hates. Idol worship is a sin. You saying he hates the sin. I'm going to show you that he hates the, the people. Why is he asking these? Three and eight. Bring that up. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter three and verse number eight. Bring it out. A time to love. What? A time to love. Right? And a time to hate. A time to what? And a time to hate. Hey, a time to love and a time to hate. Right. Right? When is the perfect time to hate? Right? Can we hate I don't want to. I don't want to. But can we? Yeah, yeah. Don't you hate? Real. Don't you hate the people that did this? I don't know the people, brother. You know the people, brother. I don't know. What brother. people did this to us? I don't know. Brother, what I, people I get, did this to us, narrative. brother? But do you know? Them. Well, who, who's standing right here while this man is being hung from a tree? Somebody who would know more. Who? What so people? What enough. people? Was Was it the Chinese man? Yeah, brother. Brother, it, it doesn't matter. Do, are you gonna acknowledge the truth, brother? Who is this? Is yeah, that, I, I see the truth. Who, who's, is, who's that whipping him? That that is, is pure remorse. Brother. But who is it, brother? You you well, can, brother. I want you to people. say it, brother. We gotta move on as people. We, we hey, give yeah, me Job eight and eight. You says we gotta move on. Hey, we are moving on, man. Yeah. We're moving on to rulership and dominion in the near future, man. Yeah. That's what we're moving on to. Yes, I read 12 and 6. 
Right. 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 12 and 6. Right. For the most high hate of sinners. For what? For, for the, the most, most high hate of sinners. Hey, if you a sinner, the most high God hates you. He didn't say, oh, I just hate the sin. Yeah, he hates sin. He says, well, he hates the sinner. Christianity says, oh, God doesn't hate the sinner. He hates the sin. Read that again. For the most high hate of sinners. Hey, he says the Lord hates the sinners. And he hates the sin. Right? Give me, give, give me the classic. Well, we're all sinners. What is sin? Whatever goes against the Ten Commandments. So you think there's just Ten Commandments? Is, is, is being a homosexual a, a, a sin? It's, it's an abomination. It's a sin, right? So is that in the Ten Commandments? Uh -uh. It's not, but God spoke that it was an abomination. Yeah, which is a sin. That's a law. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Let's show you what sin is, brother. It's not just Ten Commandments, brother. There's 613 laws that you yeah, commandments. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he was saying what's right was not right, but, he, but Moses gave us the Ten Commandments. No, he gave us all, all of them are commandments. They're not, he's right. not, commandment just is a command. Right. Whatever the Lord commands us not to do is a commandment. It's not just, oh, ten commandments, thou shalt not have any other God, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. stuff. So, there's anything the Lord says not to do, you can't do it. That's a command. He's not asking us, right? He would either get down or later. Bring that up. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse number 4. What is sin? Whosoever committeth sin, right, transgresseth also the law. Whosoever commits sin transgress the laws. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin? For, For sin, sin is, is the, the transgression, transgression of, of the, the law. law. So when you break God's law, statutes, and commandments, that's sin, brother. Even the smallest com uh, law you can't break, brother. You can't shave your beard, man. That's a sin. For you to shave your face, you ball, brother. It's a sin for you to eat pork, brother. It's a sin for you to not keep the Sabbath pork, brother. You know what day today is? It's uh, Sunday. It's the Sunday, but what, what day is it according to the Bible? Sunday. What? The Sabbath? Well, technically, Moses believe it's Friday. If we're not talking about Muslims, man. we're talking about what God says, brother. You say you rested on the seventh day. What day is the seventh day? It's considered the Sunday. You got a calendar on your phone? Yeah, I got a calendar. Show the brother the calendar. It's considered the Sunday. Hey, brother, who so, made it Sunday? So what day, is the, what day does the week start? Apparently, the, the Monday. No, no what, what day is it? Yeah, Sunday. Sun, so so count, count day. six days after. Saturday. So it's Saturday, right? But the new day starts in, when the sun goes down, right? The evening and the morning were the first day, right? So the new day starts in the evening when the sun goes down, right? Go to Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse, what is it, 13? 13? 15. 15. 15. Bring that. They explain how the day is working in both of the book of what? Equinox, if I pronounce that right. Equinox? Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Solstice and Equinox. Yeah. But those are science, man-made science, man. You don't want to, you want to go to the Bible, brother. Well, that, that book was in the Bible, and they took it out. No, there's, there's no, no, that's, that's not a part of the Bible. That's it's not canonical. The, it's a part of the Ethiopian Bible. Which well, was, uh, well, the Ethiopians are not Israelites. That's their book. They can write whatever they want to write. That's for them and their people. As an Israelite man, this is our heritage. This is what we follow. The words of Yahweh Hashem, Hashem. Right? Give me um, Exodus chapter two, verse eight. Right? We gonna, we gonna give you some laws before you go. Right? Oh, okay. Ten and uh, fifteen. Give me uh, Exodus twenty and eight first. It's the book of Exodus chapter twenty and verse number eight. Exodus sixteen. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. The Lord is commanding us to remember, brother. Because when we got into captivity, we forgot, brother, to keep the Sabbath. Right? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right? Six days shalt thou labor. Six days you're going to do all your work. Right? And do all thy work. Right? But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. What day is the seventh day, King? Saturday, right? Is the day, is the Sabbath day. Is the Sabbath day. Right? Of the Lord, right? Thy God. And it thou shalt not do any work. Did you work today? Are you working today? Well, well when the guy asked Jesus, why don't he keep this? Because he was doing miracles on the Sabbath day. He said we can still do good on the Sabbath day. Yeah, it's lawful to do good, but you can't profane the Sabbath. No, no. It's, 
So that's all praise to the most high. It's lawful to do good on the Sabbath, but what is it talking? Does that mean you can uh damn go jack up your car and and and, and, and yeah, do it? We can do good on the Sabbath. Right? What what good? He, he spoke in a parable. Uh, I can't remember the word. Does that mean we could break the Sabbath? We don't do it. Did Christ break the Sabbath? Yes, by doing it. He performed a miracle on the Sabbath. Is, is that work? Did, did the Lord did the Lord go take on his operation material and then start dissecting the brother and start healing him? Or did he spoke the word? The Sabbath day is for us, but he did perform a miracle on the Sabbath day. But is, is that a sin? No, because Peter questioned it and asked him why he was doing it. No, Peter didn't question I think it. it. The Pharisees Peter. tried to challenge him about healing on the Sabbath. Right. I, I don't remember if it was... It could no, have I, been, I understand what you're saying. Somebody but but see, you got the wrong understanding about that. Christ never sinned. He kept the Sabbath day. Right? That would imply that the Lord broke the Sabbath and which he's saying that he sinned. Christ never sinned. Give me that in 1 Peter 1 and 20... Uh, is it 2.23? 2.21. 1 Peter 2.21. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 21. 1 Peter 2 21. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Right? Leaving us an example. Leaving us an example, right? That ye should follow his steps. So we gonna follow after Christ, right? Who did no sin? Who did what? Who, Who did, did no sin? sin? Who did no sin, brother? Is 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 profaning the Sabbath a sin? Is breaking the Sabbath a sin? So did Christ sin? No. It says he didn't sin. So therefore he did what? He just performed a miracle. Which is not a sin. Not so, so he didn't sin. No, no, no. I didn't say that, sin. It, yeah, it says not to do any work. It's talking about servile work, right? Yeah, I was just saying we could do good stuff. Yeah, you can you can help your brother if he's destitute, if he really genuinely yeah, needs help. Right, but you got ultimately you have to keep the Sabbath holy. You're not going to profane the Sabbath willfully, right? Right. Right. You're not going to be over righteous. Let's say you drive in and your damn car broke down, man. You just gonna sit there in, in the middle of winter and your, your car broke down in the snow and you're just sitting in the car. Well, it's the Sabbath day. <laughs> and then damn freeze to death, right? Right? No, that's being over righteous, man. Right? Jack, you do what you gotta do and get out the snow, brother. The Lord don't want you to freeze, brother. That's what it means to do good. Or if your brother gets stranded and he needs some help. Oh, oh man, I gotta go help the brother. Hey, man, the Lord prefers that, man. That's brotherly love, man. Right? Come, bring out uh, Nehemiah. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it up. And if the people of the land... You got a question, man? Uh -huh. What's your nationality? What's your father? My father? Yeah, is he a so-called white man? Caucasian. No, your father is the devil, man. Right. That's your father, right? You are of your father, the devil, man. God ain't no devil. Hey, God ain't your father, man. Right. He's the he's the God of the Israelites. Ain't nobody else. What's your biological father? What's your nationality? So what's his nationality? What is nationality? See, that's that Satan, man. Coming over here with his smooth words, man. Right? Give me that in Psalms chapter 55 at verse 21. What is, what is your nationality, man? You have yet to answer. Do you believe in the Bible? Of course. Okay. So what is your nationality? We are here to teach the truth of the bring out. Book of Psalms chapter 55 verse number 1. Right? Give an ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my... Psalms 55. Psalms 55, verse 21. Right. Oh, he's 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. What is the so-called white man? The, the words, words of, of his, his mouth were smoother, smoother than, than butter. butter. Right? But war was in his heart. That's why he don't want to answer, man. Right. He not up here to really inquire what's what. What are we out here teaching, man? He came out here to be a subtly. Right? To deceive, man. To take away the word, man. That's him, man. 
right? That's why you don't want to answer, man, right? Is this Jesus right here? What does he look like? What does Jesus look like according to the Bible? Right now he's a spirit. Jesus like is a spirit. So, so he was walking on earth. Was he, when he was on the earth, what did he look like? What people? Somewhere in between me and you. Wow. Is that what the Bible says? What verse says he was in between? He was a tan brother. He was a tan brother. Like an Egyptian. And what, what color are the Egyptians? Huh? They're not. Uh, and what race are the Egyptians? What race are the Egyptians? What race are the Egyptians? Where's Egypt? See that? So called white men don't know what they mean. Egypt is in Africa. What, what color are the Africans? He's Middle Eastern. Is, it, is that in the Bible? Give me in Hebrews 7 and 14. No, is that what I want? Is that what I want? I gotta take out John. Hey, you should you gotta stick around for this, brother. I got you gotta be a witness to this. Right. But you gotta know your enemies. Right? Because he's being sometimes. Hey, hey, guess what? The Lord says he's your enemy. Right. I don't like that on my own. The Lord said I'm an enemy. I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, right? They shall they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, right? And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right, so by your words, you're going to be justified, man, and by your words, you're going to be condemned in the last day, man. Right. Right? You don't want to be like the so-called white man, man. His words are crafty, man. Right? His words are deceitful, man. Right? By your words, you're going to be justified. By the words, you're going to be condemned. Right. Right? Jump to verse 31. Give me some, uh, Job chapter 15 and verse 1. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and, and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Right? But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven. Shall unto, what? Shall not be forgiven. Right, so you, hey man, that's, hey, that's what it means being condemned. Man. You blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, man. That's an example of you being condemned, man. Right. Right? Read. Should not be forgiven unto men. Right. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, right. it shall be forgiven him. Hey, Christ is so merciful, man. He will forgive you for speaking ill towards him. But what? But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Right? Neither in in this world. Not in this world as Satan is ruling. Neither in the world to come. Hey, when the Israelites are set up ruling, right? Give me Job chapter 15 and verse 5. The book of Job chapter 15 and verse 5. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity. He says, What? For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity. Hey, man, you gotta watch your mouth. Right. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, man. Right? Your mouth uttereth sin. Right? Main things, man. Lies. Right? Read. And thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. And thou choosest what? And thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. What is the so-called white man? And thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Hey, man, you don't want to choose the mouth of the crafty, man. Right? You don't want to choose the mouth of all these other nations, man. These are crafty people. Didn't they, didn't they take crafty counsel against the children of Israel, man? Right? That's the mouth of the crafty, man. When you read Psalms 83, man. Right? Finish that. Verse 6. Thine own mouth 
condemned it. Thy mom, what? Thy own mouth condemned it. Hey man, you can condemn yourself by your own mouth. Man. Speaking ill will, man. Speaking blasphemy, man. Right? Your own mouth condemn you, man. Right? Read. Condemned it thee, right? And not I. Right? Yeah. Thine own lips testify against thee. Right. Don't do so for a white man say the same thing, man. Anything that you say or do will be used against you in the court of law, man. Right? Every, every uh, Your own words testify against you, man. The Lord is saying the same thing, man. Right? Bring that up. Give me up here. Psalms 58 and verse 3. Psalms 58 verse 3. Right? The wicked are estranged from the womb. Right? They go astray as soon as they be born. Right? Speaking lies. Doing what? Speaking, Speaking lies. lies. Speaking lies, man. Right? That, that's a mouth that's going to be damned. Right? That's going to be testified against. Speaking lies, man. Talk about the so-called white man. Right? Grief. The poison is like the poison of a serpent. Right? They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Right. He, he, he didn't want to acknowledge the, the questionnaires, man. He turned his ears like the deaf adder. He didn't want to hear the wisdom, man. Right? Because his sole purpose was to come up here and cause confusion, right? And take away the word. Right? Read. Which will not hearken to the voice of the cha of the charmer. Charming never so wisely. Right, he's not gonna hearken unto the the wisdom of the prophets. Right? It's not in him, man. Right? He's not upright, man. Hey, the brother stuck around long enough to receive the word, man. Right? He's kinda of, yo, know, we just planted the seed, man. Lord willing the brother continues to, to study, man. Right? And get himself built up in the spirit, man. And learn to hate, man. Right? Give me Proverbs 18. Kind of verse hop in there. <laughs> the book of Proverbs is 18 and verse number 20. Right? Good. Good. What's going on? Can you go? They take a flyer before you go. Can you go? The book of Proverbs is 18 and verse 20. A man's belly shall be satisfied right with the fruit of his mouth right a man's belly shall be satisfied by the fruits of his mouth the fruit of the mouth is is this word man. right this gospel man, that we teach man. right your belly gonna be full with these things man read i should be full with these things man. right and with the increase of his lips right shall he be filled right and with the increase of his lips because when we teach this yeah, word really, man, we, we, maybe we like increase in, Roman history class. right we increase in right what uh, the, the body right the house of the lord man yeah. by waking up our people telling them to come back to the fold we build increase in the lord's house man. and with that comes a reward man. right give me colossians chapter 4 and verse 6. Give me Proverbs 15 and Verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What did it say? Death, Death and life are, are in the power of the tongue. tongue. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, man. Right? We just gave some examples of how you can be condemned. That's death. Right? Life is also in the power of the tongue. You got to speak life into your brother. You got to speak life into your wife, man. You got to speak life into your people, man. Yeah, how was I did the same? Hold that. Give me, um, give me John 6 and 63. Give me Proverbs 4 and verse 2. John 6, verse 63. Right? It is the spirit that quickened it. Right? The flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, right? And they are life. They are what? They, they are, are life. life. Hey, the words that Yahweh Shai spoke unto us, man, these words are life. Man. Right. There is life and death in the power of the tongue, man. Yahweh Shai spoke life into us, man. The Israelites, man. Right? Bring that up. The book of Proverbs, the before verse 20. Right? My son, 
Attend to my words. Do what? Attend, Attend to, to my words. words. Attend to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Incline thine ear unto my saying. Right? Let them not depart from thine right. eyes. Right? Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Right? Read on. For they are life unto those that find them. They are what? For they yeah, are life unto those, those that find them. Those who find the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, it says these, they find life, man. Right? That's what the true life is, man, when you when you hearken unto these words. Right? Come on, Colossians 4 and 6, Proverbs 15 and 11. Colossians 4 verse 6, right? Let your speech be always with grace. Let your what? Let your speech be always with grace. Hey, sometimes you got to let your speech be with grace, man. There's a time to cry aloud, man, and spare not, man. But there's a time when you got to speak with grace, man. Right. You know, some, some people, they get offended easily, man. So sometimes you just got to, like, you know, speak to them in a, in a way that they can receive it, man. Like with the sisters, man. How you doing, sis? I'm talking to you. You got a minute? Take right, a flyer. Take a flyer real fast. Can I break you that again? Let your speech be always with grace. Right? Seasoned with salt. Seasoned with what? Seasoned, Seasoned with, with salt. Hey, sometimes you gotta be the kind of crafty, man. On the, on the right hand side, man. You know. Sometimes you gotta sauce them up, man. right? Or line them up, like I always say, man. Right? So that they wanna receive this word. Some people, hey man, they think the Bible is boring. Sometimes you gotta, you know, bring it out in such a way that they can receive it, man. Right? A little character, man. Right? Season with salt, man. Right? Is that it? That ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Hey Amen. And ye that ye may know how to answer every man. Because every you can't approach everybody the same way. Right. Hey, some brothers need you to get on them, man. Right? Some brothers, hey man, you, you gotta talk calm because he's kind of brittle. And you don't want to offend the little ones. Right? Come, Proverbs 15 and 1, Bible. The book of Job. The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath. What does it say? A soft answer turneth away wrath. Hey, a soft answer turneth away wrath. We say things up here that people might, you know, disagree with, man. They might get offended, man. Right? Get loud and want to fight, man. Hey, it says a soft answer turneth away wrath. No, no, brother. Let me, let me explain, brother. You know what I'm saying? You have to get, you know hyped up man right a soft answer turneth away wrath man right give me um job chapter 16 and verse 1 give me um job chapter 19 and verse 1 job 16 and verse 1 then job answered and said i have heard many such things Right? Miserable comforters. Miserable what? Miserable, Miserable comforters. comforters. Right, when Job was catching hell, man, hey, his friends was just talking smack. Miserable comforters. When he was looking for comfort, man, you know what? They weren't comforting. You want to be a brother that comforts us. Right? Just like Yahweh Shai, he's our comforter. Right? You want to be a comfort to your people. Right? Right? I have heard many such things, miserable comforters are ye all. Right? Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? I also could speak as ye do. Right, I can hey, I can I can talk smack too, man. That's what Job was saying, man. When he was looking for them to comfort him, man, they were just speaking vain words, man. Right? If you're going through hell, man, the last thing you want to hear is, man, why'd you do that, man? It's all your fault, man. Right? Instead of exhorting the brother, man, you're talking, speaking death into the brother, man. Hey, I know that, um, you know, you know, a just man falling ten times. You just wanna, don't want to stay down. Uh, you want to, you know, pick yourself up, man. Don't weigh yourself down by your own counsel, man. Right? Not kick the dust off your feet and keep it pushing, huh? Right? He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. 
right? You want to endure it, you know, even though you fell short. That's how you want to exhort the brothers. You don't want to talk that. Because guess what? When it's your time around, man, hey, they can do the same thing. Right? Read right? up. If your soul were in my soul, Steve. If, if your what? If your soul was in my soul, Steve. Hey, man, if the shoe was on the other foot, I could heap up against you. I could heap up words against you. I can what? I could heap up words against you. Hey, man, I can heap up words against you. Right? If you was in my shoes, man. Right? That's what you want to make sure it's more like Is that verse 6? Shake my head at you, right? But I would strengthen you with my mouth. What are we supposed to do? But I would strengthen you with my mouth. Well, hey, we supposed to strengthen our brothers and our sisters, man, with our mouths, man, as Israelites, man. Right? Right? And the moving of my lips should ask which your grief. Right, and the moving of my lips shall assuage your grief, man. You want to talk the brother into comfort, man. You want to talk the sister into comfort, man, and peace. Right? Read. Though I speak, my grief is not as waged, and though I for, I forbear, what am I eased? But now he have made me weary. Yeah, you can hold Job. Job 19. The book of Job, chapter 19 and verse 1. Read up. Then Job answered and said, How long will ye vex my soul? How long what? How, How long will ye vex my soul? Right? And break me in pieces. Right? With words. With what? With words. Hey man, your words can break people in pieces, man. Right? Your words have power, man. Right? You can speak life. You can speak death into someone, man. You can encourage them. You can build them up, and You can tear them down, man. Right? You don't want to be that, man. Right? Give me the book of um, Ecclesiastes, chapter 1. There are 3 in verse 1. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, 3 verse 1. Right? To everything there is a season, right? And they tie, right? To every purpose under heaven. Right, jump to verse 7. There is a season and a time for everything. Right? Right, give me something right there. Verse 7. Right? A time to rent and a time to sow. Right? A time to keep silence. A time to what? A time to keep silence. Right? And a time to speak. Right, there's a time for you to keep to speak, man. And there's a time for you to be silent. Right? Bring that. Sorry, right to learn it. Book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 8. Bring it up. Answer not before thou hast heard the call. Verse 8, verse 13. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their speech. Right, you don't want to interrupt a man in the midst of his talk, man. If a brother is explaining something, wait till the brother is finished, man, and then you can go at it. Right? Then you're going to get your shot, man. But don't interrupt a man in the midst of his speech. Right? That's not the time to speak. Right? Solomon said the same thing. Bring that up. Uh, Proverbs 18, verse 13. Right? Oh. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it. Right? It is folly and shame unto him. Hey man, it is folly and shame to answer a matter before you hear the whole conclusion. Right? You want you don't want to be that kind of man. Give me Cyrus 5 and 11. Give me James 1 and 19. Sirach chapter 5 verse 11. No. Be swift to hear. Be what? Be, be swift, swift to hear. hear. Hey, be swift to hear. And let thy life be sincere. Right? And let thy life be sincere. Right? Read. And with patience give answer. And with what? And, and with, with patience, patience give answer. Hey, you don't want to be quick to answer, man. You want to be patient, man. Listen, man. Understand what's being said, and then when you have been given the opportunity to speak, then respond, man. With wisdom, man. All right? You don't just want to rush and just say anything, man. And now, you know, brother ask you one plus one, now you're talking about damn clouds or alligators. What the hell? So quick to speak, man. You not, you're not even understanding the whole matter, man. All right? We know you like that thing, man. Stop playing. Right. Right? 
Khan. Are you that again, King? Sirach 5 and 12. If thou press 11, be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere. Right? And with patience give answer. And with what? And, and with patience give answer. Amen. And with patience give answer. Bring out James 1 and 19. Book of James 1 and verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, right? let every man be swift to hear. Right? Slow to speak. Slow to what? Slow to speak. Be swift to hear. Slow to speak. Read. Slow to wrath. And slow to wrath. Right? Right? For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Right? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity. Superfluity. Right? Of naughtiness. Right? And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. And, and receive what? Which Wait, and receive, receive with meekness, right? Wherefore, the, and receive with meekness the, the engrafted word. Right, receive with meekness the engrafted word. Which is able to save your soul. Which is what? Which, which is, is able, able to save your soul. soul. What is this Bible? Which, which is, is able, able to save, save your soul. soul. Hey man, receive with meekness the words and grafted words which are able to save your soul, man. Right. You don't want to be a scoffer, man. As soon as you hear something that's contrary to your belief, not you, you, you just start running your mouth, right? You, you can't shut the hell up, man. Right? Come, bring out your Yeah, thirty-two and seven. Sirach thirty-two verse seven. Right now, speak, young man. If there be need of thee. What does it say? Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. All right, speak when there be need of you, man. You don't have to be talking every time, man. As soon as you hear something, you want to be, you hear somebody say something. Yeah, yeah, you want to talk. Hey, oh, 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 shit. You in everybody's conversation, man. It says, speak when there be need of thee, man. Right? And yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. And, and speak scarcely when you're asked twice, man. Meaning, speak up, speak quickly when you're asked twice, man. Somebody asks you a question, don't be lingering and, you know, like you got all day, man. Right? Read. Let thy speech be short. Let it what? Let, let thy, thy speech, speech be short. Hey, let your speech be short, man. Hey, man, I was on Clubhouse, man. Right? Talking to a brother. Brother want to talk for 30 minutes, no lie. 30 minutes, man. Right? And then when and it's my time to speak, as soon as I say something, you know, he want to cut me off because that's his platform. Hey, man, that's why I don't be on Clubhouse no more. I'd rather come out here and edify the sheep, man. Right? Read that again. Let thy speech be short. Comprehending much in few words. Right, comprehending much in few words, man. Gather your thoughts, man. Right? Think about what you want to say in as few words as possible and say that thing, man. Right. Scare it quickly, man. Right? With much comprehension, man. Right? So it's easily understood. Right? Be as one that knows and yet holdeth his tongue. Hey, and you want to be as one that knoweth and holdeth his tongue. Right? You might see some brothers having a conversation and they talking about something that you know, right? You don't just be like, hey, move out the way, man. And now you want to chime in and take over the whole conversation. Hey, be as one that knoweth and holdeth his tongue. Right? Unless they acknowledge you and say, hey, Ab, what do you think about this? Right? Then you can give your two cents, man. Right? Be as one that knoweth and holdeth his tongue, man. Hey, man, you can talk yourself and get jammed up, man. Right? Like when these damn police pull you over, man. You just keep running your mouth. Now you in cuffs, man. Right? Hey, they know you know your rights, man. But hold your tongue, man. Right? Hey, let them do what they got to do, man. Right? Be, let them be the devil that they are, man. Right? And, 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 and guess what, man? You got a lawsuit, man. And you ain't say nothing. Man. Now you got millions in the account. Right? 
just by keeping your mouth shut, man. Hey, that's why they, they got a law. You have the right to remain silent, man. You got to exercise, man. Right? Is that it? If thou be among great men, right, make not thyself equal with them. Hey, if you are around great men, we call them mighty men in the truth, man. Right? Don't make yourself equal to those men, man. Right? But what? With them, and when ancient men are in place, right, use not my words. And when what? When ancient men are in place, use not my words. Hey man, when you when, when you see elders talking, man, you gotta shut up, man. You gotta listen. Man. Be swift to hear, man. You might hear some wisdom, man. When you see the men talking about certain things, man. right? You be like, yeah, that's evil. You know what I'm saying? You wanna listen to your elders in this thing, man. I'm not talking about old Jake, man. Right? I'm talking about wise men in the truth. Right? Whenever they they talking, man, you wanna listen, man. When you are on uh, ancient men, right? That are in the truth. Right? Give me Ecclesiastes 5. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Now, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh, right? And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Right, be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, man. Right, when you're in the house of Yahweh Bashi, hey, we're in the house of the Lord right now, man. Right, we're brothers that are congregating, man. Be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, man. Right? Come. Is that it? For they consider not that they do evil. Right, because that's an evil thing, man. Just, you know, just saying whatever the hell you want when the word is coming. That's disrespectful to the most high. But I'd rather hear the Bible than your words, man. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. I don't want to hear what you did last Thursday, man. Right? Evil, man. In the house of the Lord, man. Right? Come on, give me uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 37. Matthew 5 verse 37. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. Right? For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Yeah, let your communication be yay, yay, and nay, nay. Somebody ask you a question, man, just, just simply answer it. Right? Anything that comes after that is evil, man. They don't want to, you ask them, you ever ask the brother like a simple question, and now you just trying to talk around the question, man. Hey, that's evil, man. Right. Hey, just, it's, it's yes or no, brother. I, it's a yes or no question. What the hell? Right? Anything that comes after that is evil. Man. I'm trying to be crafty, man, sometime. Right? God, Job 18 and 2. It's the book of Job, chapter 18, 18 and verse 14. number 2. How long will it be? How long will it be ere ye make an end of words. Be, and make a what? Make an end of words. Right, that's them brothers that be talking on for, for hours, man, like I was saying, man. How long uh, before you make an end of words, man? You made your point. Didn't they say keep your words conversation short, comprehending much, man? Why are you still going? Right. Right, read. And afterwards, we will speak. Therefore, are we counted Come. Yeah, and afterwards you will speak, man. That's the point, man. right? You don't want to just be yapping the whole time, right? Give me 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. 1 Corinthians 14 34. Right? Let your women keep silence in the churches. Let what? Let, Let your, your women, women keep silence in the churches. Right, so your women is supposed to be silent in the churches, man, right? Read. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Right, it's not permitted unto women to speak, man. Give me Numbers chapter 12. Read on. 
but they are commanded to be under obedience. Right? As also saith the law. Hey man, it's a law for your women to keep silence in the churches, man. Let's see what happened to a woman for speaking amongst men. Right? Read. Numbers 12 and 1. The book of Numbers, chapter 12 and verse 1. Right? And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses. What did they do? And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses. Hey, it says Miriam and Aaron. So Miriam, it says Miriam first for a reason. She probably came up to Aaron. Like, Who the hell is Moses, man? The Lord chose us too, man. Like women do, man. They gossip, man. Right? Came to Aaron and started talking ish about Moses, man. Read. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses. Right. Because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. Right. So he, they was talking ish about him having another woman. Right? Read. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Right? Read. And they said. Has the Lord of these spoken only by Moses? Hey, has the Lord only spoken by Moses, man? Hey, man, we Israelites too. The Lord speaks by us too, man. Right? Read. Has he not spoken also hey. by us? Right. Who the hell is Moses, man? Hey, the Lord can talk to me too. Right? Read. And the Lord heard it. And above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. At, hey, at his time, he was the meekest, man. He was the humblest man that existed in his time, man. Right? Read. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses. Right. And unto Aaron. Right. And unto Miriam. Right. Come out ye there unto the tabernacles of the congregation. Right. And, and they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. Right. And stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. Right. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. Right. Let's see what the Lord said. If there be a prophet among you, Right. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him. Right. Read. In a vision. Right. And will speak unto him in a dream. Right. My servant Moses is not so. Hey man, the Lord said, if I, if there's a prophet, I'll come to that man in a vision or a dream. That ain't the case with Moses, man. What's good? What, what, how is Moses different? Who is faithful in all mine house, right? With him I will speak mouth to mouth. Hey, the Lord gonna talk directly to Moses, man. Right? That's how highly favored he was, man. Right? Read even apparently. And not in dark speeches. And I ain't going to talk in parables, man. I'm going to make it plain for him. Right? And the similitude of the Lord shall be, shall he behold. Right? Wherefore, then, were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses. Right. So the Lord said, you're not afraid to speak against Moses, man? Give me Exodus 22. And uh, I think I want verse... Uh, it says God will bother them. I should be at the bottom. Exodus 22. Bring it up. How are you going to speak against Moses, man? Bring it up. Verse 9. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And, he, and she did what? <laughs> Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And she was what? And behold, behold she, she was leprous. leprous. Right, that's what a woman gets for speaking against the men. Right. Notice it was both him and Aaron, but the Lord only plagued Miriam. Man. That wasn't her place as a woman, man, to speak against men. Right? You don't want to speak against the, the, the leaders, man, that the Most High God set up, man. Right? Wicked words, man. You found it? Bring that in. Exodus 22 and 28. Right. Thou shalt not revile the gods. Right. Nor curse the rulers of thy people. Nor what? Nor curse the rulers of thy people. Hey man, you don't want to revile the gods and curse the, 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 the rulers of thy people. Right? That's a wicked thing, man. To revile the gods, man. Yeah, I wish I never reviled the gods. He followed him, he's the son of man, and yet he hearkened unto the words of the elders, man. Right? right? So, you, hey man, you don't want to curse them, man. Right? That's not a woman's place, man. Right? 
Give me Sirach chapter 26, 25 and verse 20. As the climbing up a sandy way, you walk, you ever at the beach and you just walking in some thick sand, man? As the climbing up of a sandy way is to the feet of the age. Uh, at being an old and you young and you walking up that sandy way, it's kind of tough, man. It says to the old. So imagine you being an old man going up a sandy way like you in the desert. As the climbing up of a sandy way to the age, man. So is a wife full of words to a quiet man. So is what? So is a wife to, full of words to a quiet man. Hey, so is a woman that's always nagging you, man. It, it's burdensome, man. Right. Like, them climbing like them up a hill, man. Right? Unbearable, man. Right? Jump to verse 23. I mean, 26. What? Maybe back up. Verse number 23. Bring it up. A wicked man abateth the courage. Now read that again. A wicked woman abateth the courage. Right. Maketh a heavy countenance. Right. A woman, a wicked woman abateth the courage, man. Right. Read. And a wounded heart. Right. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress. Right. Maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Right. Hey, a woman that would not come for her husband. Hey, man, nagging your husband is not comfortable. Right? When he's down and out, man, hey, man, you you, you obey the courage, man, because you just nagging. Oh, you, you don't do this. You, you, why are you always doing that? You don't say this. You don't do... Hey, man, that's... that's hey, man, that obeyed the courage, man. I, the husband don't even want to do nothing. Right? He's doing... The, he fell on hard times. He's tired, of, you know, from all day. And all you do is just nag him, man. Right? I bet it the guy. Now you don't want to do nothing, man. You just drain the, the rest of his energy, man. Right? No peace, man. Right? You don't want to be that kind of sister, man. You want to know how to speak to your man. Right? Give me Sirach 26 and uh, verse 2. Sirach 26, verse 2. Right? A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband. Hey, hey, honey, how was your day? Oh, you're so awesome. You're so intelligent. Oh, you're so smart. Right? A, a, a virtuous woman rejoiced her husband, man. Right? A, a, a man rejoices when he has a virtuous woman as well. Right? Read. And he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. He shall fulfill the years of his life in peace, man. Right? How many brothers can say that they're peaceful, man? A lot of their women, man. Right? Only a few, man. Right? Always, hey, hey, Eve, and Eve ready to nag you, man. It's, 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 it's destroy you, man. With her words, man. Right? Is that it? Jump to verse 14. A silent and loving woman. A what? A, a silent and loving woman. woman. Now nah, loud mouth. A silent and loving woman. Is what? Is a gift of the Lord. Hey man, it says a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, man. Right? right? So if you if you a sister and you ain't silent and loving, man, you a you a gift from Satan. Right? Read that again. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Right? And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Hey Amen. And nothing more better than a man that can instruct his wife. And she follows who, man? Right? This scripture says in Sirach chapter 7, Has thou a wife according to thy mind, man? Right? Ain't nothing more fulfilling than having a wife according to your mind. Right? And and when it says that it's talking about both of y'all being in one accord under Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Right? Doing the perfect will, man. Right? 
being sitting in subjection to one another in the perfect will of Yahweh Right? Jump to verse 27. Verse 27. Hey. A loud crying woman and a scold shall be sought out to drive away the enemies. Read that again. A loud crying woman and a scold shall be sought out to drive away the enemy. Right, a loud crying woman, man. That's what that's what she about to do, man. Right? She, she's only good for chasing away the enemy, man. Right? You ever you ever see like uh, a brother be out there, your friends come over to come check on you, man. As soon as they hear that loud my hey, hey, I'm out, man. Hey man, scare away your own friends, man. Hey, she can scare away the enemies too, man. Right? Shit, I ain't doing it. Plan on robbing you, man. They come in as loud as oh, damn, we got a bounce there. Right? <laughs> right? They're not gonna take that chance, man. That's what that's what a loud mouth woman is good for, man. They chase away the enemy, man. Right? Yeah, okay, Proverbs 28, 27 and 15. Come give me the side right 36 and 20. It's the book of Proverbs 27, verse 15. Right? A continual dropping in a very rainy day. A continual dropping in a very rainy day. What? And a continuous woman. And a contentious woman. Yeah. Are alike. Are what? Are alike. Are alike. Hey man, you ever got that damn drip in your house, man? When the rain falls that you can't stop, man? You in your sleep and you're a drip. Drip, 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 drip. That's annoying, man. It says the continual dropping of rain is, and a contentious woman is, is a light, man. Annoying, man. Then destroy your mind, man. Talk you to death, man. Yeah. Right? Complain to death, man. You can't please her, man. Right? She always, the only thing she tells you is what you're not doing, man. Right? In her, from her perspective. Right? God, bring out you guys. Sirach 36 and 23. Sirach 26 verse 23. 36. 36 verse 23. Right? If there be a there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue. If there be what? If there be kindness, kindness meekness, and comfort in, in her, her tongue, tongue. Right? Then is not her husband like other men. Right, because you know, some men they have peace, right? If if they're not kindness, meekness, right, in her in her tongue, right? Right? You're not gonna be like certain men. Man. Certain men have peace, man. You wanna be like them brothers that got peace in their household. No, that brother's wife is so important. Give me Proverbs 31 and 26. Right? You wanna be like this kind of woman, man. Right? I got it. Are you? Hey, excuse me. You in the pink? Bring that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31. If there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue, right, then is not her husband like other men, right? He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, right? A help like unto himself, right? And a pillar of rest. And a what? And a, a pillar, pillar of rest. rest. That's the kind like the like the other men, man. They got wives that are a pillar of rest. Man. Are you a pillar of rest? Yeah. See that? That's madness, man. He said no. <laughs> Confidently, man. Right? And, and I, I didn't expect anything less, man. That's a damn eater, man. Alright, how y'all doing? I got a question for y'all. Big time. Alright? Read that again, right? So that you can drop that. Read that. Proverbs 31 and 26. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31. And birth 26. Hey sis. Hey sister. Bring it up. She opens her mouth with wisdom. What does she do? She opens her mouth with wisdom. Wait, read it from the top. She opens her mouth with wisdom. Hey, you wanna be a woman that opens her mouth with wisdom, man? Do y'all open your mouth with wisdom? Yes. Well, what wisdom? What what's wisdom to you? Is it 
nails and shopping yep. and a Birkin. Yep. Right? Bring that up. She opens her mouth with wisdom. Right? And in her tongue is the law of kindness. In her what? In her tongue is the law of kindness. Hey man, in her tongue is the law of kindness, man. She's a kind, a gentle woman, a meek woman, man. Right? Discreet, man. Right? Shame face, man. Right? That's her, man. That's the woman you want to be, man. Is that it? Come. Give me um, 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Give me 1 uh, Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. First Timothy chapter two verse nine. Right. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. With shamefacedness. With what? With, with shamefacedness. Hey, you want to be shamefaced at the woman, man? Right. Read. And sobriety. And sobriety. Sober, man. Read. Not with broided hair, right? Or gold, right? Or pearls, or costly array, but with becoming woman professing, professing godliness. Right, you want to be a woman that professes godliness. You can go. Right? Read. With, God, with good works. With what? With good works. All right, the good works is the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Read. Let the women learn in silence. Let the what? Let, Let the, the woman, woman learn in silence. What is being shamefaced? Let, Let the, the woman, woman learn in silence. silence. Like, read. With all subjection. Now, with some. With, with all, all subjection. subjection. Now, she talks when she, she wants to. With, with all, all subjection. Hey, with all subjection, man. Right? But I suffer not a woman to teach. Hey man, she suffers not a woman to teach. That's talking about men. It's gonna explain in the next verse. No, nor to assert authority over the man. Do y'all believe in the Bible? You don't believe in the Bible? Read that again. But to be in silence. But to what? But to be in silence. Hey man, it's good for a woman to be in silence and not to usurp authority over a man. If a woman is usurping authority over a man, yeah, no, you good, king. Hey, take a flyer before you go, king. You an Israelite, prepare to keep the commandments, all right? If a woman is usurping authority over a man, hey, that's not a righteous woman, all right? Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach, all right? Nor to be, Salah, nor to usurp authority over the man, all right? But to be in silence. But to what? But, but to, to be, be inside, inside it. Read. For Adam was first formed. Right. For Adam was first formed. Right. Then Eve. Then Eve. You came after, sis. Right. Read. And Adam was not deceived. Adam wasn't deceived, man. The serpent came to who? Eve, man. Read. But the woman being deceived right? was in the transgression. Right. Notwithstanding, well, I, I she shall be problem. saved in childbearing. Right? If they continue in faith. They shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith. And charity. And charity. And holiness with sobriety. And, and holiness with sobriety. That's the conditions, man. Right? Give me uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 12. And I'm going to close out with that. That's it like 1 Timothy 4 and 12. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it up. Let no man despise thy mouth, right? But be thou an example of the believers. Do what? But be an example of the believers. Hey, you want to be an example of the believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right? Doing the things, right? The same way how Yahweh Shai was an example to us. We have to be an example to the people, man. With our mouth. Right? Read. In word. In what? In word. In words. Teaching this word. Man. Read. In conversation. In what? In, In conversation. conversation. In conversations, man. Right? The same manner of attributes that Yahweh Shai exhibited when he was on earth. His demeanor, his conversations, man. Hey, you want to be that, that same? You want to be an example like that, man. Right? Be in Christ-like, man. 
right? Read in charity, right? In spirit, right? In faith, right? In purity, right? And in purity, right? right? But with that, I want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. And we do so by Shimon Mashiach, Come 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 Hey, said I'm one come testing him. Pick two rap with a sling might lick off a med like a man from Jesse. Uh, heard a day talking that big talk, lip off, which got listen, don't vex me. I'ma stand for the father perpetually, definitely big match, don't get chesty. Any weapon they form don't stress me. Hey, I'm an Israelite child, no destiny. Separated, he chose and select me. In his rainy, he clove and he dressed me. Look without him, my soul will be empty. To the Lord of the host, I confess thee. I don't do this for sport or for trendies. Disrespect it'll only get messy. Uh. Yeah, they can never take hold of my faith. I'ma stand up my sword at the gate. Holiness to the Lord on the plate. See your idols ain't holding no weight. I ain't here trying to hold no debate. See my God ain't no solar replace. Disrespecting the stone of your face. Look, you must be a fool to